Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be talking about viral genomes. Now, is it RNA? Is it DNA? Is it RNA plus? Is it single stranded? Is it double stranded? Where does it end? Well, let's find out. So, no matter what it starts out with, it must get to plus since mRNA. mRNA is what's going to be translated into the viral protein. So, no matter what, gets to mRNA, positive sense. Then it gets translated, and then it gets into the viral proteins. And the goal of everything is to make more virus. So we need these proteins over here to make more virus. So, making sense out of sense. Sense is a concept used to compare polarity of nucleic acid molecules such as DNA and RNA. Basically to distinguish the size, the different strands. We have a plus sense. We have a minus. It could be either DNA or it could be RNA. An example of DNA. You know, when we come apart, we've got two sides. Well, we have the sense strand, and then we have the anti-sense strand, or the positive strand, and the negative strand. The negative strand, or the anti-sense, is what you're going to make or uh, use for transcription. It's what you're going to use to make the plus sense mRNA. Again. The antisense or negative strand is what you're going to use to make your mRNA. Now what that means, where's my mouse, there it is, is that the plus sense mRNA looks exactly like the plus sense DNA, except where there were T's, there are U's, and where there are U's on one, there are T's. Okay? Plus sense mRNA is translated into proteins. Yay! What we want. Now guys, this next now guys, this next slide, you really need to actually pay attention to me. Because yes, you'll write it down and you'll draw it out, but it won't make too much sense unless you actually are listening and figuring out. So listen, please. So, first thing we got. Class one genomes are gonna be double stranded DNA. Normal DNA, double stranded. So during replication, DNA replication done with DNA polymerase. Normal stuff, okay. Transcription does, and then we've got our mRNA, and then we've got our translation to protein. Normal stuff. Makes sense. Class number two. Single-stranded DNA. What has to happen? First, it has to be done and made into double-stranded DNA. For replication, it's then brought back to single-stranded and ripped apart. Okay. To make the proteins, to get to proteins, we have to go from our single-stranded DNA to double-stranded DNA. So it doesn't matter if this original single-stranded is positive or negative. You still have to make the copy of the other, the complement DNA. Then we have transcription. Class 2 single-stranded DNA, you have to go through, make it double-stranded, then go through transcription translation. Class 3, double-stranded RNA. And this gets a little more tricky. It's already RNA. So, what we're going to do is we're going to rip it apart. We're going to transcribe it into the positive sense RNA. Then we're going to do translation in protein. How does it replicate? Well, it keeps going through transcription, and then it transcribes the other side to come back to DNA. Double-stranded, sorry, excuse me, double-stranded RNA. Okay, next, class four, single-stranded positive sense. Well, that's the same as we have here, so it can just go through translation. How does it replicate? It first has to go into double-stranded RNA, and then it will go back to single-stranded positive sense. And that's how it can replicate. Then this double-stranded RNA down here, wherever my mouse went, there it goes, can also be transcribed to make more positive sense mRNA, which can then be translated into protein. So this class 4 genome can do a lot of things. Class 5 genome is single-stranded negative sense. Remember up here, or back when I talked about DNA, that the negative sense was used to make the positive sense mRNA? Well, that's what's happening down here. The negative sense RNA is being transcribed to make positive sense mRNA. How does it replicate? It goes to double-stranded RNA and then is ripped apart to go back to single-stranded negative sense. Okay, class number six up here in the corner is another type of single-stranded RNA. 
these guys are very different than these guys because they don't just stick around in RNA. They actually use reverse transcriptase to come over here to create DNA and then use the DNA to create more R uh, mRNA than translation and then protein. So again, this positive sense RNA does not go straight through translation. It actually uses reverse transcriptase to go to DNA, then DNA back to RNA, then RNA to protein. Then our final one is class 7, uh, double-stranded DNA. When we have this type of double-stranded DNA, it can then be, it can go from the DNA through transcription to the mRNA. The difference between 1 and 7 is that 1 replicates from the DNA. Class 7 replicates from the RNA. So oddly enough, this guy uses reverse transcriptase as well and goes from the RNA, come back to do the DNA, and then we have a single strand of DNA, and then we have an R a DNA polymerase that comes along and completes it. Okay, so there are seven different classes that we've gone through. Let's look at it a different way. Another look. This is called the Baltimore classification of viruses. The Baltimore classification, again, uses the genome. If we use class 1, double-stranded DNA, it's normal, it opens up, we use the negative sense to get the positive mRNA, we're good. Where's my mouse? There it is. Now this is class 2. We have two different versions of class 2. We've got version A, which gives you only the positive sense. We've got version B, which gives you the negative sense. Either way, you have to make it into double-stranded before you can bring it into RNA. Fine. Class number 3 is double-stranded RNA. Fine, it's ripped apart, it's translated, we've got our mRNA. Oh, sorry. Next, class 4 is the positive sense. RNA. Well, the positive sense RNA is the mRNA, so that's fine. That's good, just like it is. Come back now, see? There you go. Okay, class five is the negative sense RNA. This guy is actually used as the template for the mRNA, so we're good. We've got the template. Class six is we have the positive sense RNA that is then goes into the negative sense DNA. Then the DNA is then made into double-stranded DNA, and then the double-stranded DNA is made into mRNA. That one's a little bit strange. These are going to be our retroviruses, going from RNA to DNA, using reverse transcriptase. So, you do need to know these. You need to figure out the pathways, be able to take me through the pathways. I will give you a virus, I will tell you what your starting genome is, you would then tell me how it replicates and how it's with its genome and how it creates its viral proteins. Know them well. So peace out, dudes.